uh, yung motivation hindi mo siya nakukuha before you do work it's ano uh, it's something you get when you're working na so you have to start you have to know kung ano yung productivity catalyst mo so for me ang nag-work sa akin is yung pomodoro so it might be different for everyone pero dapat you find that catalyst na mag dire-diretso na lang kayo once you get into it. Hi everybody! Welcome to the 15th episode of A Curious Character. I am your host, Rox De Leon. This episode is a conversation with undergraduate students studying electronics, computer, and electrical engineering at UP Diliman. Mira, Ia, and Mango talk about their life inside Triple E, from motivations, first impressions, struggles, and accomplishments as they navigate their degree. Without further ado, let's get started with this episode. So welcome to A Curious Character. Uh, this is a very special episode because we cr- we now have for this episode a student from the Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute or Triple EI. Um, why don't you guys introduce yourself? Let's start with Mira. Okay, so hi, I'm Almira Astrid Asmuri. You can call me Mira. And I'm a currently incoming fourth year guest computer engineering student. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm Maria Jasper Russell, but uh, my nickname is Ia. I'm also an incoming fourth year of Vatskasi Mira, a Bachelor of Science Electronics. In- All right. And hi, I'm Michael Angelongo, um, incoming third year and BS Electrical Engineering. Um, yeah, we, yeah, BS Electrical Engineering. And then same lang kami ng batches, right? but yeah. Awesome. Welcome, guys, and thank you so much for accepting my invitation to record a podcast with me and just tell a bit about the Triple E Life. So this episode is titled Inside the Life of Triple E Students. So we have three Triple E students from different courses in Triple E, namely COE or the Computer Engineering, ECE, or the Electronics Engine- uh, Engineering, Electronics Communications Engineering before, and EE and Electrical Engineering. So before we dig into the life, inside the life of a triple E student, I'm curious to know, um, you guys, why you studied engineering? Okay, so I'm Almira again. So I'm I'm from Bicol. I actually graduated junior and senior high school sa Ateneo de Naga University. Tapos, pinili ko yung engineering kasi I love math. Like, Mahalap yung math. Masara- maganda yung math. Para nakakayang daw siya. Tapos, problem solving, programming, technology. And, uh, like, bago ako pumunta, pumunta ng UP, ano, sabi ko, um, gusto ko someday makatulong ako or makatulong ako to innovate something na makakatulong sa environment natin. So, yun, engineering, something na pwed- mabibigyan ako ng tools to, ano, to create some type of technology. So when did you think of that, Mira? Was it before senior high school? Kasi di ba, in senior high school, you have to choose na if you're going to take STEM, what are the other strands, MVD or humanities or whatsoever? Yes. So I, I picked STEM kasi sabi nila, yun daw yung pinaka-diverse na ano, na strand. Kasi science, technology, engineering, mathematics, iba ka sa ABL, so accountancy and business lang. And yun nga, mag- gusto ko ng tech and ng math, so nag-stem ako. Tapos, pero gusto ko talaga mag na engineering when I watch yung parang ano, documentary about yung this girl na gumawa ng, or nag-help tumulong ng students. Uh, students sa ano, na ginagawa is yung sinasak yung mga ano, sa C para ano. So, gusto ko rin magkaroon ng contribution to technology na makakatulong sa environment. So, gusto ko yan. Awesome. Sige. Let's hold hold on to that thought on the environment. Maroon ako follow up dyan mamaya. But I wanted to hear ES reasoning for taking up engineering. How how soon did you or how, way, how far back was the decision of going into uh, ECE? 
And just funny nga, ah, so, uh, hello again, I'm Ia. Uh, taga QC na ako, no Mariches. So, dyan dyan na ako, malapit ako sa UP-ish. Tapos, um, why engineering? To be honest, uh, I'm very picky. No, narimili na ako kung ano gusto ko. I'm very picky the sa ones na I didn't want in life. So, ang kinawa ko talaga para mamili ng course ko is like, I took yung courses sa mga schools. So, sabi ko, kakross out ko lahat ng ayaw ko. So, so, sobrang lumitin yung list by then. Tapos, I checked isa-isa yung mga nagtitira kong choices. Tapos, uh, nabasa ko yung mostly sa ECE. Tapos, it felt in line to sa mga gusto ko. May ligtin naman ako sa math. I like to work on things. May ligtin naman sa physics. So, I thought, oh, maybe this is for me. And also, kasi yung dad ko yung engineer. So, sabi ko, wow, siguro sundan ko yung dad ko. <laughs> So, yun, yun yung ano ko. Pero, hmm, yung sa, uh, so, why STEM in general? Uh, to, to be honest, may hindi ko na sa mga, I like tech trend. Like, I like to keep up with yung new tech. I, I like to learn trend about it. So, it felt like it was something for me. Awesome. How about Mango? Why engineering? Okay, so um, engineering. Well, because before um, the way or yung process of me getting or kung bakit ako napunta sa engineering, um, actually took like on my first year in UPLB. In UPLB, I was in physics, kasi applied physics. Tapos um, yeah, so I shifted here, and the reason being is that um. Parang I, I read this um I read this article kasi before that um Germany apparently a different uh, a European country mostly rely their energy on solar power talaga and then it got me thinking like bakit sa Germany it's um European country which has winter or uh, um mayroon sila mga cold seasons and all that tapos pero bakit dito sa Pilipinas we don't ang init-init. Well, there are times na may init. Ngayon, hindi. Pero, sobrang init. Pero, tapos hindi natin siya na-utilize. And, parang, for me, um, I think it was the first time during my first year, parang, dun pa lang nag-click in na, um, I don't want to go, I don't want to grow up and be a physicist. Gusto ko, I, have, I want to do something with, um, parang, ano ba, pa, yung, um, energy, or yeah pa, um, electricity of the philippines and all of that so sabi ko sige gusto ko to and then um <clears throat> ayun when i uh, i decided then like baka, kung gaya ng physics bakit hindi na lang iba ganun pero i came from a science high school kasi kasi city science so parang um reinforced sa amin yung um pagiging well yung stem ganun so Um, most of us, parang kung wala kami yung choice, kung wala kami maisip, we're just gonna go to STEM. Eh, ako rin naman kasi I grew up, um, I grew up in a family na, they're not, we're not really, uh, parang hindi naman nakapagtapos yung mga parents ko, pero well, my dad. Pero, um, he reinforced or parang the way he taught me is that um, my I remember like every day may pinat may binibigay siyang math worksheet sa akin. <laughs> and I, I don't know why. I I hated it that time kasi syempre hindi ko na makakalangan gawin to. For some reason. <laughs> Tapos pero ano, I realized then na parang we we didn't really grow up parang I didn't really grow up in a very very rich family. So it was parang his form of kumon. So, alam niya yun. Oh. Ayan, so, binibigay niya yun sa akin. Tapos, parang sinasearch niya lang sa internet. Tapos, pinapasagot niya. Then, you check niya afterwards. And then, um, I don't know. Ayan. At first, I didn't like it. Pero, I guess, if it wasn't for it, I wouldn't really love math. Or, hindi, um, I wouldn't be really um wanting to do math in the future. Tapos, ayun. Um, I went to EE kasi gusto ko the reason why I went to applied physics or gusto ko yung physics in 
nilagay ko siya sa options ko in UPLB because I wanted to work on electromagnetics. Tapos hindi ko alam bakit. Gusto ko lang. <laughs> Pero then, napaisip ako, okay, so if I want solar energy and electromagnetics, why, won't I, why don't I go to EE and in Diliman ko na sana ko, which is I'm from QC. So, you know, best of both worlds and now I'm here. Well, you could have you could have just shifted from UPLB physics to UPLB EE, right? <laughs> So yeah, but yeah, so, yeah, so why in why in why in Diliman? Oh, in Diliman, well, yun yeah. I'm from Quezon City na rin, and um I like the campus naman sa LB, pero um the one that actually like kumpara parang yung second option ko or second um motivation ko to transfer back here is yung friends ko talaga. Like um mo of friends from Kisai or from Quezon City fans is in Diliman. Meron naman from El, but I'm not really close to, uh, close with them that much. So, sabi ko, well, if I can transfer naman to Diliman, why don't I just do it? And it's going to be less expenses for my family. I'll be uh, a lot happier than German your friends ko. And, well, I already met, uh, well, I already knew circuit kahit no first year ko pa lang sa LV. So, sabi ko, you know, Oh, why not? <laughs> Ayun. Ganda. Very nice reasoning because it seems Ayun. like you really you already knew uh, which field you wanted to get into. And that's part of the upbringing of getting into a science high school as well. Tapos, the proximity yes. of the school. So it's it seems like it's a pretty um, easy decision for you, no, Mango? How about Kay Mira? Yeah, Kasi Mira, was, yeah for, for Mira, you had to at least move to Quezon City for a bit. I am, now you're back in your province because we're remote. Tayo. But I'm curious na if uh, you were interested in the environment, uh, environmental applications or what so, or and, and such. So how, how did you decide to going into computer engineering of all the engineering uh, specializations that you could select? Why computer engineering? Well, Merong ano, notion before na uh, uh, yung sa computer engineering para software at hardware integration. And gusto ko rin kasi besides yung hardware na mismo ng i-in event ko, gusto ko rin mag-program kasi I love programming. Yun yung parang like, like today, parang yun yung nagiging pastime ko kasi uh, yung mga simple tasks na pwedeng i-automate at program it para isang click lang magawa ko na like kapag send ng emails o kapag gawa ng ano pag solve ng mga formulas kaya parang hindi ko na gamitin yung calculator or sa program tapos isang run ng program with answers parang gano'n and ayun since ano integration siya ng hardware and software it like parang the best choice for me. Tapos ayun, nag UP din kasi ako at saka nag COE kasi uh, tag dito, I studied in kindergarten ako. Taga QC din ako before, pero pumunta kami sa Bicol for some reason sa family. Tapos ever nung nasa nung bata ako, nagjo-jog sa Sanjian Gardens and yun yung pinaka siguro sikat na na place wow. sa UP, like sa Sunken Garden, nagjo-jogging, tapos nandun din, din lang kasi kami nakatira sa Esteban Abada. So parang nandun na yung terminal, tapos nandun lang kami mm-hmm. sa terminal. Okay, tapos ayun, free tuition din, tapos nag, dun din nag-aral yung ma- mom ko for her music degree. And yung mga cousins ko, feel ko merong ano, merong naging impact sa akin yung sabi ng cousins ko na yung pintulungan nila kung pumili ng course, uh, sabi nila, ha, triple E, huwag ka dyan. Tapos, <laughs> dun nila, huwag daw ako sa triple E. Tapos, edi, nung sinabi sa akin na huwag daw ako sa triple E, bakit naman, bakit, bakit huwag daw sa triple E? Di naman nila binigyan ng reason. So, naging curious ako. Mas, <laughs> mas, mas naging, ano, parang yun yung naging fuel ko to, to pursue talaga yung triple E at yung course. Yeah, yeah if you, it's it's like you wanted to it's like I you know you wanted to prove them wrong, 
Okay, John. And I'm yeah, going to but... show you na I'm going to excel in this one. How about the IA? Uh, why, e, why ECE? Why ECE? Oh, uh, to be honest, nung binabasa ko like yung description of what ECE does, parang na-imagine ko na it's something that I would do. Kasi sa ECE, uh, uh, you work uh, aside from like many different fields kang pwedeng punahan. Yun na yun na interest na ako. Like, there are a lot of different places that you can go pag ECE ka. So sabi ko, uh, well naman, parang pupuntahan ito tapos ang wide ng um, choices mo. Tapos, I like most no mga paths yung pwedeng puntahan. So, sabi ko, gusto ko ECE. To be honest, wala oh, sa'yo sabi sa akin na mahirap siya. So, parang sabi ko, <laughs> <laughs> ano, I went in blind, pero okay lang naman. <laughs> I still like it. So, in the end, I still like what I'm doing. <laughs> what were your pero, first... Sinabihan, sinabihan nga ako ng ano, ng ng advisor ko dati na parang huwag ka dyan. Tapos so, sinig ko rin anong bakit. <laughs> Kaya ko na tayo sinasabi na huwag ka. So sa ano ka ang pupush doon. Kaya parang oh, bakit kaya? <laughs> Weird itong build up ng episode na to. No? Parang puro huwag ka dyan. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sana ka na curious na parang oh, ano kaya meron na? <laughs> So parang you already had those omens or parang signs na parang, hmm, this is going to be challenging. This is going to be challenging my life in people E and such. So what were your first impressions? Getting into, maybe you can talk about before going in, tapos parang first semester, how was it? Yung sa akin kasi, nag-participate yung school ko before sa PSYSE na event. Tapos nagkaroon ng uh, tour. Tapos pumunta ng triple E. Tapos yung pinaka ng aalala ko na impression ko sa triple E was parang ang daming wire. Tapos ang daming machine. <laughs> yung nakita ko yung parang sa power, yung parang mahaba na no, wires. Ganun, ganun. Tapos napakalaki yung mga power generators. Parang ganun. Tapos ayun. Tapos nakita ko rin yung mga door. Di ba may suso, may nabiya, may meral ko. Sorry ko, aba, sponsored to me. <laughs> Or ano, parang gano'n. Yun yung very, ano, yung talagang first impression ko as a high school student na pumunta sa Triple D. Na wow, parang ang prestigious naman nito. Or baka may mga, ano, graduates from this, ano, na ano, sila from Samsung, tapos ang king, tapos mga big shots yung mga nandun, gano'n. Kasi, it, tas, UP pa siya. So, napaka, ano, napaka amazing or napaka in awe ako ng high school nung nakita ko yung triple E. Tapos, nung pumasok, nung pumasok ko ko ng triple E, naaalala ko nung merong, ano, merong time doon na nagle-lecture. Tapos, parang sa so LC1 ata yun. Tapos, nag-burst siya sa class out of the classroom, tapos parang, ano, nagkaroon ng some commotion, pero, pero, tapos sabi ng professor, hindi ka nakikinig, pero sinabi ng professor na, okay, you're just starting, tapos hindi pa mahirap ka, gano'n, pero, ayun, parang dun ko na, dun, dun nag-pond sa ako na, okay, so, magiging mahirap talaga siya, kasi parang, ngayon pa lang na nahihirap ko sa first year, sa mga topics kasi ano, ako hindi naman ako galing yung science high school. So, yung ibang mga topics doon, like signals, yung mga ganun, like sa triple E1 and 1-3, hindi ko siya na-take up ng high school. Tapos medyo nahirapan din ako mag-catch up nun. Tapos sabi ng process, madali pa daw siya. So sabi ko, ah, okay, I need to double yung efforts ko then, to survive and to get what I want. Parang. Very positive yung outlook. It seems like very positive yung outlook mo with Triple E. Yeah, it's it's very difficult. No? Parang first year pa lang. Um, did any of you lear- learn how to code? Pro- uh, did any of you learn programming before you entered college? Uh, ako hindi. <laughs> Same. How about yeah. you? Oh, uh, ako merong ano lang, yung HTML, yung for web dev, mm-hmm. nun, na-try ko na siya. Tapos parang merong, 
C++ free tutorial sa, sa school ko. Tapos ginanap ko lang kasi out of tier class. Pero hindi ko naman siya pinurso kasi parang extracurricular lang naman. So, focus ako sa akin. Pero yung, as in yung programming na ano talaga, nag-start talaga siya ng C++ 111 na Python. Okay. Ah, uh, sige. So this question is for Ie and for Mango. So, um, how did you feel? Para ano yung naging feeling nyo nung first time that you took a course in programming sa Triple E? Ano ba yung first programming course natin in Triple E? And if you did not know okay. how to one 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 okay okay Python. So how 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 did you attack that subject? Para oh no, I don't know how to code yet. Is it intimidating, scary, or or what? So, yung first meeting namin, uh, so one one one, uh, si yung prof they just introduced like oh programming, okay magalala. Parang di sure kami na parang okay magalala. If you don't know anything, it's a mindset yun parang sila sa akin. It's like a mindset that you get into. So di reassure kami na parang oh, ah, uh, eto yung kailangan si Prince again to. Tapos, for me, also, yung strategy ko, medyo, ano, medyo, I, I don't know how to call it. I downloaded an app called, uh, but I can only name drop the app. It's like solo learn, like Python siya. Tapos, tuwing, uuwi ako, kasi yung, ano ko, yung commute ko pa, well, it's, it's an hour, ganon. An hour and a half, ganon. So, pag pauwi na ako, I would practice sa phone ko, <laughs> ng ano, Habang nasa FX ako. Kasi at tagal ng travel time ko. Tapos wala ko magawa. So ano, iba ko gagawin. Sige, mag-aaral na lang ako Python habang pauwi ako. Wow. <laughs> so, yun yung ginagawa ko. Pero yung problem lang doon is uh, fill in the blank siya. So hindi ako sinasalay yung sulat siya mo. Pero it helped me uh, understand yung syntax ng, ano, ng Python. So yun yung ginawa ko para makaka-catch up ako. <laughs> Okay, yung ano naman for me um well, I don't know. Um kasi whenever I say na parang from Quezon City Science or, or well from a science high school ganun, parang they already expect or meron silang they think na meron kaming coding pero um nung time kasi namin, I remember well from the older batches they say na meron sila dati. Pero nung batch namin um wala and i think this, the reason being is that they renovate the buildings na nasa, kung nasa man yung computer so we didn't really have any coding that time tapos um yola, ayun. when i and when i went to triple e talaga sabi ko sige puro ano naman to puro engineering puro electronics kaya ko naman to aralin I didn't expect my coding <laughs> and then when i took uh, when i went to one, 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 one um i don't know. Pero nung una kasi, na- natutuwa pa ako. Kasi, wow, print, hello world, wow, ang galing. Kasi yun, doon pala natutuwa na ako. Kasi, <laughs> um, wala, wala talaga kasi akong ano, um, experience sa coding at all. Tapos, parang yun, tuwan-tuwa, pa, tuwan-tuwa na ako doon. Tapos, when it came to, um, nung nagkaroon na ng turtle bot, tapos parang ako wala na akong naiintindihan. <laughs> well, well, um, the way how I did it kasi, um, may friend din kasi ako from, um, din din, sa triple E din, tapos parang yun yung best um, subjects niya, mga one 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 two one um Same din kami under the same org din. Tapos ko isha. And then, I, ang laking tulong niya, as in very, very helpful kasi la, pag may, pag, pag may hini, hindi ako naiintindihan, tinatanong ko siya, tapos and then funnily enough para every week may may, may hindi ako naiintindihan <laughs> so every week lagi ko siyang tinatanong <laughs> and he was very patient naman so ayun nakatulong naman siya tapos um whenever may mga machine problems and all of that nagpapatulong ako kahit hindi niya naiintindihan yung nangyayari tapos sinasabi niya lang kumbaga ko ni pumapasok sa isip niya tapos ako i try to um I um, understand it on my own words. Tapos ginagawa ko siya. And ayun, I guess that's how I survived 111. And as well as 121 then. Hindi um, lang naman siya yung tinanungan ko. Pero kasi 
I'm sure my first year I was also applying you know, for UP circuit and marami rin naman kasi doon na um, magaling mag-code. So, I ask like every time na may vacant ako and may alam kong magaling siya sa coding, I, may nagtatanong na ako by then. I guess yun yung one, uh, yun yung ginawa ko. I, I ask for help talaga, like personally. Kasi yung ginagawa ni Ia na um, solo learn, <laughs> It's not for me talaga. <laughs> um, it doesn't work like for me. Pag yung yung mga apps like Duolingo, mga first day ko lang siya gagamitin tapos afternoon wala na. <laughs> Kasi natamad na ako. Kailangan talaga may ano ako, may social interaction ako para lang magtuloy-tuloy yung gusto ko gawin. Pero pag mag-isa lang ako is like eh <laughs> hindi siya tatagal, hindi siya magiging consistent. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Pero before you actually dig deep into the triple E courses, diba, meron tayong math classes. Normally, if you're from a science high school, most likely you were able to discuss na yung mga concepts na yun in math. Uh, I'm not sure how it changed with K-12, but I'm curious, kay Mira, um, if you found, did, how, did you, how did you cope with the math classes? Um, were they difficult or were you able to adapt? <laughs> Oh my god, same. I love the math courses. Oh my god, same. I love the math courses. I love the math courses. I love the math courses. I love the math I love the math I love the math courses. I parang nakatulong talaga siya sa amin. Tapos, wala. Yan talaga yung pinaka mamimiss ko. Kasi ngayon, wala na kami math course. Yeah. So, yeah. You, started, you started with, ano, no? Math 17 also? Is it also math 17? No. 21. 21, okay. 21. okay. Ibang curriculum pala ako. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, <laughs> lahat naman kayo okay with the math courses. And then, parang yung big baptism ay yung intro to triple E, no? So, and one thing, if it's very, very difficult, not really very, siguro about challenging that or more than what you were used to, no? Sa yung triple E courses. So, like Mango, he had to ask for friends, help, yun, and, and find peers, ganyan. So, how did you make friends sa triple E life? Well, yung sa akin kasi, well, nung precious kasi may block, may block, may block kami. Tapos nagkakaroon ka ng blockmates. So, sabay-sabay kami pupunta sa class na ganito, ganyan. Tapos, nagkakaiba lang kami ng GEs. Tapos, GEs. So, ano, yun. Yung mga blockmates yung naging friends ko. Kasi sabay-sabay kami laging naglalakal. Tapos, actually, ewan ko, pero yung mga nakikilala ko, yung mga may blockmates before most probably yung mga blockmates nila before naging matagal na hanggang ngayon blockmates pa rin na or parang sa klase pa rin nila hanggang ngayon kasi parang nasanay na kami na okay classmate ko siya sa ganitong class tapos uh, uh, parang get na namin na okay pwede tayong magtanungan if ever na nagkakalituhan tayo ng subject tapos may impact din kasi yung professor sa ano, like iba yung professor, yung turo or yung pagbigay ng assessment ng professor sa ibang class. So yung matatanungan mo talaga na uh, kung paano yung experience sa ano sa mga assessments and sa ano yun, so way of teaching ko ano yung tinutunan ng professor, ay yung kaklase mo lang talaga. So, yun. So, blockmates talaga yung naging, ano ko, naging way ko sa pag make ng friends kasi ano parang nung second year lang sabi ko ala parang ang konti ng friends kasi parang ang hindi ko support <laughs> kasi ayun uh, since ano since na import din ako ng circuit sa Indaka noong 2019 nag application process na rin ako the, the, the next semester after which is 1980 kasi yun mas dumami yung friends ng circuit no kung what's up kasi so, yung yung block ba is it only during the first semester of your first year? Alam ko meron medyo ng second sem pero hindi siya same ng first sem mo. Uh-oh. How about you, Ia? Uh, for me, uh, actually, yung make 
making friends was my main concern in college, to be honest. <laughs> Kasi, ano, I'm from St. Mary's College, UC. Tapos, on tira kami yung triple E. Like, like, isa lang yung kilala kong upper batch sa triple E. Na from my school. So, on tira talaga kami. So, sabi ko, oh my God, wala ako kilala sa UC. On tira kami nakapasa. Tapos, hiwalay hiwalay pa kami. So, I was really concerned about making friends. So, I asked my other friends sa high school, yung very social friends ko, how do you make friends? So, sabi niya sa akin, it's just to say hi daw. And to be decisive daw. Like, kung kunwari, ano, uh, you guys wanna eat, ikaw magaya. Ganon. Oh, magaya kung mag-lunch get together. Ganyan. Tapos kung saan. So, ang ginawa ko, to, uh, if you guys remember yung first day natin sa UP, suspended siya. Mira. Naalala ko, suspended siya kasi mo. <laughs> Okay, ano nangyari sa akin, nasa jeep ako for like two hours kasi sobrang tapping. Tapos pagdating ko sa UP, yung only class ko na dapat pupuntahan ko, hindi ko na napuntahan. Kasi sobrang tagal na ako, jeep drive ko kasi ang traffic. Tapos umuulan. Tapos nagsuspend na. So nasa UP ako, wala akong gagawin. So sabi ko, ano, ayayin ko yung blackface ko mag-lunch. <laughs> so pagdating ko na UP, chinat ko yung blackface ko. Hi guys, do you wanna? go for lunch sa so UPTC. Tapos, sabi sa akin ng mga blackmates ko, nakaalala na daw nila ako forever. Dahil doon. Kasi first day na first day, nag-aya daw ako kumain. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, uh, that was mostly how I made friends. Uh, yung blackmates din. Tapos, I actually made friends with someone na hindi ka-black, pero marami kami yung same class. Like, lagi kami nagka-high sa isa't isa. Kasi yun nga sabi ng friend ko, pag may nahita, parang nahita mo na, mag-hike ka, gano'n. So, lagi kami nag-hike, tapos lagi kami nagtitingin na. Tapos, so, nagsabay kami mag-apply sa circuit. Doon so, kami naging friends. <laughs> so, yun. Yun din yung how I made friends for me. Uh, but, yun din sa GE, like, I tried to find people na parang, oh, uh, nahita kita sa Triple E, hi, ganyan. Tapos, sila na yung kasama ko lagi. No, like after class, after GE, ganun. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos sila rin nag-i-introduce na, oh, ito pala, tagasamin ko. Tapos yun, bigla nang lalaki yung friend circle mo, di mo, yung malala- mamalaya. <laughs> how how about Mango? I was gonna ask, Ayan. how about um, Mango? Kasi UP, UP, uh, UPLB eh. Yes, ano, um, unlike them, uh, kasi sila, um, puro, <laughs> blockmates. Wala ako, wala akong blockmate talaga. Pero ano, um, surprisingly enough, may mga blockmate din ako from LB na nag-shift din to Triple E. Pero um, I wasn't really friends with them nung time na yun. Kasi parang yung mindset ko sa LB was that um, ayokong ma-attach sa mga tao. Oh. Kasi pag na-attach ako, yun ako makakali sa LB. <laughs> so parang, ano, kinakausap ko naman sila, hi, hello, pero hindi yung ano, in a sense na aayain ko sila sa lunch ganun. Um pero anyway, ayun. Um when I got into Triple E naman, uh meron naman ako mga kilala na um from my science high school. Madami kami uh yeah, madami naman kami um sa Triple E noon. And then ayun, every time I see them naman, nagha-high lang kami. Isa isa tisa. And then yung talagang friends or kumbaga parang yung naging group ko dito sa I mean, sa Triple E would be yung circuit talaga kasi when I applied for it um may kasabay na rin naman ako na from my high school na nag-apply din for UP circuit and at the same time yung mga um, members na nandoon na um sila rin yung mga nakakausap ko na yun same high school lang din naman so for example if I Um, I have an ACAD concern or an org concern. At least sila yung nalalapitan ko. And then, um, ayun, uh, um, outside circuit, I, I don't think I have. Kasi sa mga GEs ko, well, minakausap naman ako from my GEs na, alam ba, pag alam ko triple E, sabihin ko, may triple E ka din, ganun. Pero, um, none of it. Parang wala naman yung super, 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 super close. Kamaga parang ano lang. Um, ayun, hi, hello lang. But, Yeah, for my for my friends talaga um it would be UP circuit. And then ayun, iba rin naman kasi like 
yun nga, yung mga blockmates ko from LB na nag-shift din to triple E, um, they applied like for the first few weeks, ganon. Pero so, kin- nakakausap ko rin naman sila. And until now, um, nakakausap ko pa rin naman. Um, most of, yung mga non-triple E friends or non-circuit friends ko, sila yung mga ano, mga... <laughs> I would, I would I don't want to say I don't want to say the word recruit <laughs> pero in encourage ayun ano na mag-join din sa circuit <laughs> so eh syempre ayo rin naman nila pero at least ako alam mo yun dahil um makakapal yung mukha <laughs> and all that um in encourage ko din sila na mag-join and then parang syempre may friends friends na para at least kahit para pag sumali na pag gusto man nila mag-circuit at least may nakakausap na sila <laughs> Ayun yung parang um, that's how I made friends outside circuit and inside triple E na rin. Okay, and since you were you've been talking about UP circuit and all, siguro let's let's segue a little bit about the organizations in triple E since not everyone listening or for example, if this podcast reached the freshies, they're not aware any of my organization. So, yeah. could you talk a bit about you know, how you can find a community inside student orgs in UP and in triple E? Ano yung org sa, sa Triple E na that we can join? Um, alam ko org sa Triple E is um, well, yung ganyan ko isa rin na ko eh. <laughs> ISF, UP ISF for um, electronics engineering students. Baka gusto nyo mag-try. <laughs> And then, ano pa yung if I know I, I Triple E tap, I, yeah, I, 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 for E, E, so man, di ba? And then of course, it's UP Circuit and UP ERG. So, yeah. for, for the info of everyone, so, yun yung two, two big orgs sa Triple E. So, it's normally, if you're going to join an org, it's either you join UP Circuit or you join UP ERG. Now, like for us, when I was an undergrad, really, yung blockmates ko nun, si Charleston, he's my blockmate, and they're actually the ones who recruited me to UP Circuit also. And But some of our blockmates went to UP ERG, and that's fine uh, for students, no? Um, it doesn't really matter which organization you go to. It depend, parang it depends on saan ka ba nag jive The people you vibe with. Yeah, yeah. The, the people you vibe with. So, very well said. So, ngayon, let's, let's dig deeper into inside your life as co-EE ECE students. Could you talk to me a bit about what you're studying as an ECE major, as a co-E major, Then as an EE major. So for well, I think for most for the first like half, no, you don't stay in triple E. You would have the same courses as your EE, co E, chaka ECE. So uh, plenty of time to make friends. So um, pinag aralan namin dante na I can remember. Oh my God, that's cool. Uh, we had programming with Python. Uh, first year. We had um, an introductory course to like the three courses, which is one one three. It's parang siyang, um, uh, a, parang teaser, a little teaser to the yeah. three courses. Sabi nila, if you know which one you like, so one one three, which part E E E C, you would know kung saan ka dapat sa yeah. So, kasama yun. And um, uh, for second year, uh, na introduce yung circuits circuit analysis and then the third year na introduce yung um one three one microcontrollers you mean second or third sem ah second yes second okay. year okay. and then um we also have uh engineering statistics electromag electromagnetics and pa ba wana alalo And then you my one four, I I kind of missed I kind of forgot them. See, we were all we, it was the middle of the pandemic. So in one four X you have your motors, and you I I missed your one four three which is your logic. logic. Yeah. yeah, I'm so sad that no alayot. It was my favorite. No, I know one four X series. <laughs> That was one for one. And then uh, for ECE, na, again, na, when you reach your third year, uh, second sem, you would have your course specific. Na. So for ECE, you have 
digital signal processing ng 161. And yung continuation niya sa 163. Yun yung for me. So, ayun, basically, same kami ni, same lahat ng courses for the first two years at tas yung first semester ng third year. Tapos yung next second semester, uh, for POE specific subjects, uh, medyo sad yung naging nangyari sa batch namin kasi parang hindi ata na maayos yung pag, ano, ng course kasi ano, medyo half of the sem lang kami nabigyan ng ano. I don't know what happened, pero okay, okay na naman siya. Well, yung natutunan ko or yung mga pinaaral sa amin is yung 116 computer architecture, tapos parallel programming, mga CPU, cache, uh, optimization, tapos uh, GPU. Meron din kami dito kasi mabilis lang siya. Parang ginawa lang siyang capstone project. Tapos yung 164, parang lab siya nung dalawang courses which is 161 and 163. Yung 161 naman, mostly theoretical yung inaral namin doon which is information theory, entropy, uh, conditional entropy, mga ganun, mutual information. Uh, honestly, na in- I enjoy ko yung, uh, yung theoretical which is yung 161 kasi uh, kahit hindi ako, <laughs> parang hindi ko masyadong na ano yung probability and statistics for triple D. Uh, mas na-appreciate ko yung parang purpose ng 137 namin yung 161 kami kasi parang naaano pala siya sa information theory. Is, ang saya-saya sanang aralin kaso ayun, siguro may mga nangyaring ano, and first time din kasi i-offer yung courses sa amin kaya hindi talaga masyado pang siguro yung work hindi pa siya masyadong pag-ibig sa amin. Pero hopefully, for the succeeding batches naman, magbibigay naman nila yun ang maayos. Pero, ayun, I can say na na-enjoy ko yung first co-major school. Kasi it's about yung theor- theoretical stuff for computer architectures and kung paano nag-work yung art. Ano, kung bakit zero and ones, pwedeng ma-represent anything na information by zero and ones. Tapos, paano mo siya ma-optimize yung code mo kasi very fun ako na okay, gusto ko ano, pinaka-mabula siya or pinaka-efficient na running time or gano'n. Very fun ako ng gano'n na optimization. Kaya na-enjoy ko yung problem solving ng mga programming classes namin ngayon. And, ayun, as a fan of programming, nawala kasi yung programming namin nung second year. Like, nung first year lang kami may programming kasi nawala kami ng program mo second year. Tapos nung nag-third year, second sem, sabi ko, okay, yes, may program. <laughs> yan. Yun yung for me. Na-enjoy ko yung book something. Pero, ano, gusto ko rin pala i-share. Kasi, yung triple E 111, it's the very first exam namin sa triple E as, ano, triple E majors. Tapos, ano, di ba, when you, parang yung isip ko nun, nung di programming ko siya, so, ang, ang iniisip ko, exam, is magpo-program ko. Me. Pero hindi. <laughs> Parang test paper siya. Tapos, ah. Ito, alala ko to. Yeah. Tapos, Ay, every type. Oh my God. Tapos, <laughs> kinilabutan na ako kasi parang ginawa kami interpreter ng Python. Like, <laughs> so, no, no, gulat kami nun. Tapos, si Sir, ano, Sab- yung proctor namin. Mabait naman si Sir, pero sabi niya, welcome to Triple E, nag-chill ko. <laughs> no. Oh my God, I remember. Yeah. ako. <laughs> And it's always, it's always been like that. Even before, uh, when oh. I was a student, um, we were not studying Python back then. And it's good nga ngayon that the, uh, we, the institute is now offering Python instead of C. Before we were studying C, and C is good if you're trying to learn, say, Arduino, di ba? Kasi you, you program your firmware in C. But Python is more used in the industry. And it's always been like that, na yung programming test mo is a paper. Kasi you're very expected to compile it in your head. And as a side story, so before I ko tanongin si Mango about his trip, uh, EE life. No? A side story, meron di kaming... So before, when I was a student, we also had machine problems. 
And there, uh, I think it's before it's triple E thirteen. So one 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 used to be triple E eleven, and then the programming course after that is triple E thirteen. I'm not sure what the equivalent of that is now, but triple E thirteen usually is taken in the second on your second year. Back then, I had a friend um, uh, who is also taking up ECE. Na he forgot his laptop. I think from his, in, at his apartment. Tapos umuwi siya sa probinsya that weekend. And we had an M, a machine problem, an MP that is due on Monday. So what he did was he used his mother's computer and did the machine problem. He, he did all the coding and such at home. Tapos kinumpile lang niya Sunday when he got back to Quezon City. And I'm like, I cannot do coding without compiling. Yeah. You know, kahit yung una nag-int main wide ka pa lang or nag-hello world ka pa lang. And he did that. And para wow, this is the ultimate test na gawin mo. You have to make sure that your oh, program tapos. is compiling at the at the end, no? So parang it I think the MP back then was a Pokemon game. Parang gawa ka ng Pokemon game, so dapat pipili ka ng character mo then another one. Cute. Yeah. So, lang. side story. And and yeah, it's always been like that, no? And now parang another method nga since we're doing things remotely is yung assessment na natin is through Ayun, you could be given a machine problem. But also, from a faculty perspective, you should be give. Parang dapat may way tayo to be able to be efficient because, you know, we cannot check all 200 papers or at the same time. So that's one thing, unless we figure out a way to, you know, uh, to automatically check quizzes. Although, Ovle can do that. But if, if, Ovle, if we do that, Ovle, Lan no partial point, so more people will, will fail. <laughs> yeah, so but that's a great insight, Mira, regarding the paper-based programming exam. How about Mango? Uh, do you have ano, um EE majors already? Not yet, no. Pero ano naman. Um well I've, I'm looking at the curriculum right now because <laughs> um nakita naman yung mga prereqs and it would be like um Triple E, 141, 145, and 155. Ayun. So yung tatlong subjects na yun. Um, most of these subjects naman, uh, well, if we, kung ano, kung ayun nga, parang sabi ni Ia, um, during the 113, um, kung ano man yung makuha mo, or kung yung pinakagusto mo, or kung may makuha mong highest grade between those three, oh, doon mo talaga yeah. malalaman na kung EE or EC or ko ka ba talaga. And for me, um, honestly, yung highest ko was EE. Tapos, mm-hmm. I remember um, some of my friends na from ko or EC, sabi nila sobrang hirap ng EE part. Tapos ako di ko maintindihan bakit mahirap. Sabi ko bakit ganun. Pero nung ko and EE part ko, tapos sila daling-dali, tapos ako, Ah, sige, okay na ito. <laughs> Ganun, yun naman yung problem. Equality. So, yeah, yun yung, yung ano, yun yung, um, I guess, yun yung magiging basis for 113. And then, um, well, on the second sem of the first year, yung 123, I guess that's, yun yung isang subject na, kasi, ano te, uh, it, it was my second year, so that means first year ko sa um, triple E, the second sem. Ito yung um, nagkaroon ng pandemic. Mm-hmm. So, I nagusto ko yung 1 2 3 but not because sobrang galing ko sa kanya pero na enjoy ko I mean you know um yung exam ko was um not really great but pero nagugusto ko yung topic and all of that ko yung mga nangyayari and everything pero pagdating dun sa exam kasi eh, syempre alam mo naman triple E yung example na sobrang li- sobrang like it's right here and then pagdating na exam is like di mo alam sa nagaling <laughs> <laughs> Pero uh, yun talaga yung parang normal um y- yun yung ganun talaga triple E ganun yung mag- magpagbigay ng exam. Pero I really enjoyed it. Tapos nung na-continue siya sa 133 um ayun uh, uh na enjoy ko talaga siya as in, in this time na enjoy ko siya hindi lang because I enjoyed the topic. I enjoyed ko siya. Na enjoy ko siya and at the same time I actually got uh yun nakakuha naman ako ng magandang grade for it. And then, I guess for an, a life of an EE or yun, an EE student, um, don't, don't worry, for me at 
please. Hindi ako nag-worry sa 111 or 121 or sa coding talaga. Most of it was just yung dun sa circuit analysis um, courses. Ayun nga, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3. Um, kasi yun yung magiging basis for, ayun, nakita ko naman dito sa 155. And then yung sa 141 and 145. Um, I didn't, uh, yung sa 141 ko, I didn't quite, di, gusto ko yung part na may mga circuit analysis and all that. Pero when it came to the semiconductor part, you know, pinipilit ko na lang aralin. <laughs> Pero yeah, um, ayun, for, I guess that would be it. Tapos yung one for five, I'm just gonna take it this first sem. Pero from what I have heard, I think it would be around motors, if I, I'm wrong. I'm What's first title? Pero What's ayun. the first title of triple E, one, two, three, and one, three, three? Basic circuit analysis. Circuit analysis. Then okay. your second is basic circuit analysis too. Oh, yeah. mango for one five five. Na alala ko siya kasi stop lang na solidified niya. Na ayaw ko magi. So, yeah. <laughs> so something oh, okay. to look forward to. Maybe. <laughs> oh, uh, para sa mga ii gang. <laughs> Bakal mga gusto niyo wala. We'll Yung one five five. It had a lot of readings. So see, it explained like yung history ng pa- yung electricity, like yung pag-development niya. Yun yung sa start. Then, it would go into like each yung parang major parts ng ano, ng system. Then, it would go into yung, ano yun? Yung regulation. I remember reading yung, ano, regulations on yung sa power system sa Pilipinas. Alam ko, kasama yun sa mga reading. Yeah. That was yeah. for the first time in my life may reading sa ko in Triple E. I was so surprised. Like, <gasps> Like, it's actual text. Like, no, yung formula sa exadulo pa. Pinakadulo ng 155. Pero yun, wala lang. Nahalala ko lang yung PE subject na yun. At sabi ko talaga sa sarili ko, hindi talaga ako para. <laughs> Pero in fair, baka maganda siyang aralin kapag PE subject. Hindi, yeah. yun. Like, tayo lang kasi nagbabasa eh. Siguro pa. Totoo. Pag- Pili ko mas interesting may plant please yeah. na ito. <laughs> Oo. Pero wala lang. They do that before they do that sa dapat was triple E one ninety so ngayon it's triple E one nine six before parang yun yung kasi yung mm-hmm. seminars before your capstone so meron mga depende ko ano yung parang pupuntahan yun na field trip so before meron mga field trip parang kami pumunta kami sa Wesem in Ortigas others would go to we went to as far as Laguna to a semiconductor yeah. plant in Laguna so may mga ganon before So ngayon, if you notice from last year, yung Triple E 190, they had ano lang mga speakers tas may mga seminars kasi nga hindi pa pwede yung field trip. But before, we used to have that. May mga field trip na. Okay, pili ka ako sa mga sumag join. Sa sakta daw. Yeah. Sa sakta daw. Nalaman ko na may miss out ko kasi pwede. Oh. Did, did you ha- did any of you have any favorite subject or some a course na super memorable sa yo? Um sige, for me siguro ayun yung, yung memorable course ko nga since PE, yung coding courses talaga, yung programming courses. <laughs> Hindi ko it's not really my forte, pero um it really parang kahit ayo ko siya gawin or like hindi ko nagugustuhan ako siyang ginagawa. Parang pin- um it forced me to keep going and going and going talaga. Um, parang I, I kasi may friend din ako na um, his, may friend ako sinabi niya parang hindi mo naman need yan kunin ngayon kasi floating naman yan ganoon wala ka namang kasunod after that pero iniisip ko kasi <laughs> pero ako gusto ko talaga siya itlaban so ayun um, oh. yun yung parang pinaka ayoko well yun yung memorable in a way na ayoko sa kanya. <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> Tapos yung siguro yung memorable na gusto ko is yung 133 talaga. Well, then again, I haven't done yung 155. I hope I get to enjoy 155 then according to your um um description nga. Pero ayun. Yes, yeah, for me. How about Ia? Okay lang kahit di mo sabihin na yung subjects ko. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sabi ko sabihin ba nila na 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 biased ako kasi sabi ko of course una 1.97 p.m. let's go <laughs> nirecommend ko siya sa lahat pati kahit hindi triple e kahit tayong lang siya sabi ko thank you yung, yung, yung elective ko baka gusto niyo <laughs> uh, so yes your first 
Yo, it's your ECE 1870M by Mom Rocks. I said, yeah, like every meeting. So exciting. You get to learn new things. Tapos, it's the only class na nag-google ako pagkatapos ko manood. Kasi may mm-hmm. hindi ako naintindihan. <laughs> Kasi adami, may iba tayo sa hindi ko maintindihan yung, yung uh, medical stuff. Kahit, kahit medyo basic, baka sinalimutan ko na. Nerve Tell them a bit about siya. ano. Just, Tell them a bit about the course. What is it about? Like in two sentences. Okay, so... <laughs> two se- hala? <laughs> two se- uh, so, what I said VM is Introduction to Systems Design and Healthcare. So, it's about looking at your needs the current healthcare system in the Philippines. So, a lot of no, no course was uh, having speakers na ano professional so doctors or ano engineers that are making or are producing para devices device kahit hindi devices or innovating in general to help with yung needs ng country in terms of healthcare so ito ako kasi ano nag merge yung interest ko at yung interest ng kapatid ko kasi my sister is a nurse so the whole time nag-uusap kami tungkol doon kasi dami ko natutunan sa kanya from my sister So, maraming na kuha yung sister ko from me. Tapos, parang first time lang yung sa bahay namin. Kasi magkakaibay course namin. So, I felt na it was a bridge. para for me. Uh, para ma... Uh, to... Uh, yun nga, yung same topic. Yes. Tapos, other favorite subjects. Favorite kayo, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 3. Kaya mahirap siya. Kasi I like circuits. I like yung analysis of circuits. So, it was one of my favorite tao siya pinaka na alala ko pinaka ayaw ko sa buhay ko was one three one pero hindi na sa instructor kasi hindi ko na siya naget sobrang hirap na hirap ako like it was the first exam na para ano yung tini first time ko pumasok sa exam na wala akong masagutan at all like kahit tagaaral ako which is so weird kasi nagaaral ako like so for yung one three one dikbirok sa ko yung ano nila yung Bible, <laughs> one to one, which is yung, ano rin pa, ano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, si Pirit, hinirang ko yun sa live, yung effort ko, tapos magdating ko sa exam, holy, oh my God, wala ko masagutan. Although, it it got better, nung sa subject, pero I will always remember yung first exam niya, na it was the worst. <laughs> For me. So, hindi naman about sa subject material, hindi pa, I think kasi na traumatized ako sa difficulty, maybe. How about you, Mira? How about you? <laughs> yung, yung sa akin, ano, siguro ng fresh year talaga kasi programming ano, ako. Yung sa one-to-one kasi, yun yung start na nagkaroon kami ng parang may mathematical theories, proving, then, tapos yung parang optimization, big O, tapos ano, yun, na-enjoy ko yun. Tapos yung MP na binigay sa amin ni Sir Nun was parang image processing. Tapos na-enjoy ko yung image processing using, ano, MST. So, nakaka-enjoy na pag binigay mo yung image, tapos mag-iiba yung image. Kasi ginawa mo yung program from scratch. Tapos wow, parang ang magician ko nun. Tapos, ayun. Tapos yung sa mga higher courses, ah, uh, Ayun, 143, 153, mostly pinipo masyado kong inaano yung program. Pero yeah, feel ko yun talaga yung ano, nasa heart ko, which is programming. <laughs> Tapos, ano, bakit? Hindi ko maalam. You got muted, Mira. Ay, ano, hindi ko maalam kung bakit di ako nag-shift to CS. Pero parang na-enjoy ko naman lahat ng mga natutunan ko sa Triple E kasi very ano siya, very fun din siyang aralo. Tapos yung pinaka-memorable ko siguro na course sa triple E, unang-una yung sa probability and statistics ng triple E. Kasi kahit yung mga stat major na tinatanong ko na friends ko, hindi din nila gets. Sabi ko, saan ako? Kasi <laughs> oh. yung professor sa lang. Like, em- nung mga 1-3-X series namin, I made it a habit na pumupunta sa faculty para magpaturo sa pro. Kasi may times na hindi ko talaga nag-gets. Tapos pag in-explain naman nila outside class, nag-gets ko. Pero yung 137 talaga, di ko alam kung bakit, bakit hindi ako mahal ng statistics. Kasi math din naman siya. Pero ayun, I mean, 
Napasa ko naman siya. Ano Let's ko, go! <laughs> Pero ayun, yun yung, yun yung memorable na exam ko kasi after nung exam natin sa LC1, parang pagkatayo, tum- nagtinginan lahat tapos tumatawa sila kasi wala daw silang masagot. Totoo! Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, tas, so, tas, pero nung nang sasagot kasi ako, parang nata, natawa na din ako sa sarili ko. Kasi, ba't hindi ko, ba't hindi ko to alam? <laughs> parang nag aral naman ako. Pero ayun, sabi ko, okay. So, with very, ako uh, stress. Ngayon lang, tas, yeah, nagawa ko naman. Pero, ang funny ng mga exam sa AAA pag labas mo, kasi either merong, parang may spectrum, may mga nagdadadala ng answers tapos merong ibang nagtatawa na lang kasi hindi na nag-yes or parang gano'n. Pero yun yung parang up, ano, upside ng mga triple A exam. Yeah. Uh, may question pa na ako sa para sa AP. Pinagawa niyo ba ito pag exam sa triple A? Nag-dress up ba kayo? <laughs> para sa exam kasi ginagawa ko Actually, yun dati. <laughs> Actually, para feel good. Para babagsak pang maganda gano'n. Totoo. At simula yun ng 1-3-X series. Hindi ko pa yung ginagawa before. Nung 1-3-X, wala. Okay. Mag- Ang paya to exam there. At least next time, maganda na lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> And sometimes yung exam sa Triple E could be very tricky. Parang feeling mo ang hirap niya, di ba? Pero when, kasi parang, really, this is 30 points. Tapos biglang, ang dali lang pala. Parang 30 yes. points. So feeling mo, okay. very complicated. Tapos yung answer key, parang two lines <laughs> or something like that. Sobrang... I If you know, it's either you know. <laughs> you know. You know. May, may prof na nagtabi sa amin na minsan daw, pinibigay daw ng triple E yung first question is yung very hard. Tapos, usually yung students ma-off na siya sa first question. So, parang binigay na tip sa amin na, okay, pag hindi mo gets, next mo muna kasi baka gets mo yung susunod. Kasi usually ganun daw yung ginagawa. Kasi makawala yung momentum talaga. Pag, okay, oh, lagi ko get, sa lagi ko rin get, sa lagi ko rin get. <laughs> wala ka nang na-get, parang gano'n. Hinga lang. End of, mag-exam. Tapos end of exam na. Joke. Anyway, so, <laughs> yun. Parang coming from the exams, before you were taking exams na in person, syempre, it was fun kasi lahat kayo mm-hmm. nagdudu sa <laughs> together or yes. enjoying yes. together. Yes, yes. Pero ngayon kasi it's pandemic na. Can you share parang how how did your study habits change transitioning from in-person to remote learning? Sige, For Mando. me, um, ano kasi, it took a lot of trial and error yung ginagawa ko right now. Um, alam to ni Mira kasi I've already shared this sa iba. Pero um, I've done, I've been doing this parang four hour a day, four hours na yun na naka-separate yung mga ginagawa ko. Kasi syempre, di ba, online, um, hindi siya tulad kasi during um parang pag nung hindi pa pandemic and all of that um papasok ka sa class you're gonna sit down there you're going to listen may matututunan may matututunan ka na pero now during the pandemic hindi naman lang pwede yung you're gonna play a video tapos isang oras na intindihan mo na lahat hindi siya ganun <laughs> um pero yung yun yung difference niya sa face to face na um you're going to exert a lot more focus and concentration talaga when you're trying to understand something. Pag face-to-face kasi ako, I remember, kahit inaantok ako, or like, kahit inaantok ako, basta isulat ko lang kung yung maririnig ko. Pumapasok na siya sa utak ko. Pero now, hindi talaga siya applicable. And I, I, it was re- yung hirap na hirap talaga ako. Nun. Pero I found this parang way of doing it. Um, Shinner siya nung isang triple E prof din. Um, during my 137 na parang 4 hours a day lang and 4 hours a day dinedivide mo yung gagawin mo sa so 4 hours a day of work 4 hours a day of 4 4 hours of studying and then 4 hours of yourself tapos 4 four hours of playing ganon and then naging effective siya sa akin kasi nung una sabi ko basta magawa ko lang to and sometimes it would take at for me, it would take like six hours na si isang subject lang ako, tapos pagod na pagod ako, tapos by the next day, tinatamad na ako gawin lahat. <laughs> parang gusto ko na ulit magpahinga, ganun. So parang na nauubos yung, nababurn out ako kaagad. Pero when I did the four hours thing, ang ginagawa ko morning nun, so parang 8 to 12, yun ang ginagawa ko. Um, 
full concentration yon walang procrastination tapos ang dami ko siyang ang dami kong na-achieve nagagawa ko kagad yung um kailangan kong gawin like kung sa isang subject na to for for example this some one subject has one, one or two quizzes nagagawa ko siya within the four hours tapos pag natapos ko before before four hours eh di more time for me to play ganun <laughs> para nire-reward ko lang rin yung sarili ko kasi yun yung ano I think one of the key takeaways during a pandemic setting or in a online learning, um, yung takeaway would, ko doon would be don't be afraid to reward yourself. Kasi pag nag-aaral talaga, especially during this time, nakakapagod, nakaka-burnout. And kung yun lang ginagawa mo buong day, it's not gonna last. Alam ko mahira, pero at least, you know, try to find a way to ako, I tried to find my a way to reward myself. Uh, mayon nagalaro ako at night or sometimes if I have time na kapag workout pa ako and you know for for some other people naman parang pahirap yun pero for me kasi it's um parang nawawala yung isip ko sa akads and all of that. Tapos um pag may time na kaya 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 ko lumabas or may kailangan ako gawin sa labas, I always take that opportunity. Kasi pag nasa labas ako, hindi ako nag-iisip ng kahit anong akads. And then when I get home, I'm fully refreshed. Tapos kaya ko ulit mag-take on another um, task. So ayun, yun yung um, naging study study habit ko na nag-change from uh, my um, year or for during the year of the online learning, I would say. Yeah, it's really good to compartmentalize. No? And para, para you're always yeah. focused with what you're currently yeah. doing, being present. So that's a really good habit to have built during the pandemic. You for me, ma- mahilig din kasi ako mag-self-study. So, no, sta- kahit nung no face-to-face, lagi ako nag-aaral between classes. Kasi, ayun, may training ako sa gabi, hindi ko pwede ma-utilize yung time na yun to study. So, every break na nakukuha ko for, ano, Kunwari, may one-hour break before the class, nag-aaral na ako din. So, parang pre-answer ko lang siya nung, ano, nung nagkaroon ng online classes. Pero, vacant buong, ano, buong week ko, ganun, buong day. And, uh, ang naging strategy ko at first was, I was using sheets. Tapos, parang, nilalagay ko per hour kung ano yung mga subjects na ginag- nilalag- ginag- ay, ginagawa ko per hour. Tapos, makikita ko kung ilang hours ko inaalat yung time ko for that subject. Tapos i-adjust ko kapag next week na is schedule ko ulit yung time ko. So, weekly scheduling yung ginagawa ko. And, to be honest, hindi talaga siya nag, uh, ano, hindi siya na giging parang perfectly na naman susunod ko siya kasi merong mangyayari at mangyayari every week. So, uh, ano, siguro tip lang na if you want to schedule your, ano, your week then, Uh, schedule mo na, like, mag-time block ka na, okay, this time mag-rest ako. Kasi, ano, nung dati ang alam ko pag nag-rest, nagsasayang ko ng oras kasi I should be studying. Kasi ang daming, ang dami talaga ang dapat aralin. Pero, ano, by prohibiting yourself of rest, magde-decline din yung, ano, parang sasabihin ng body mo na, ayaw ko na, ganun. Nangyari kasi siya before. Nung, First term ng online classes, tuloy-tuloy akong mag-aral. Okay, ang galing. Like, 13 hours, 15 hours, nakakaaral ako niyan. Tapos, ano, okay naman siya. Pero nung sumunod na, ano, parang nangyari, naging half yung kaya kong ma-focus. So, dapat talaga, like, from the start, you allot your time na mag-rest ka. Like, give yourself rest. Kasi productive din naman yung rest. Kasi it's allowing your body to ano to recover from all those parang binigay mo na information tapos ipaprocess niya parang i-internalize yun ng body mo habang nag-rest ka. So, dapat ischedule mo talaga yung time. Tapos i-gauge mo kung ilan lang talaga yung oras na optimal sa'yo na nag-work ka. Para yung ano, yung kahit short lang yung time, kagaya nung kay Mango, na kahit four hours lang yun, very productive na siya. Kaysa naman yung 10 hours ka na gano'n. Pero disrupted or ano, parang hindi ka naman naka-work ng maayos. 
for me, I struggled talaga ng online. Kasi sanay ako na parang may structure that was not decided by me. Yung parang yung classes, oh, ito edit this ko. Tapos ito yung nakuha ko, so I'll go to this class. Tapos may time allotment ako to get ready, to eat, ganyan. Tapos nung nag-online lahat, uh, nung first like few months, okay pa ako. Like, kasi I used to do yung yung halos yung kay Mia, I used to Google, kung saan niya sheets, ako yung Google Calendar ko, pinifill out ko ng subject ko for the day. Like, oh, oh, pag-ising mo, 125, kaya yan. Ay, pag-ising mo, itong subject. Tapos, kaya yan. Tapos, uh, it went well until, until napagod ako <laughs> sa ginagawa ko. Tapos, ay, and, uh, nung time kasi na to, uh, meron mga subjects na parang, you rex it uh, like every two weeks, kailangan may pasa. Tapos may tendency ako kasi i-prioritize yung mga uh, subjects na may, na yung separate yung deadline. Like parang yung hati-hati, yung hindi isang bagsa ka na yung deadline. So saan ang nangyari? <laughs> oh my God. Sige, kwento. <laughs> yung nangyari, talaga yung classes na natapos ko is yung mga may class na may deadlines early. Tapos yung class na na-deferred grade ko is yung class na isa lang yung deadline niya. Like, sa dulo lang. Kasi hindi ko siya na bigyan ng oras. Kasi masyado akong focus doon sa ano, doon sa subjects na parang, oh, may next week with deadline to. Uh, kung wala siya ng deadline, mag-set ka ng deadline kasi makakalimutan mo siya. Tapos mag-gulat ka na lang na at ma-overwhelm ka na parang ang dami pala na kailangan akong gawin to. Hindi ko siya ginawa. Ganun. So, yung, my recommendation is kung kung hindi mo kaya na ikaw yung magsiset ng sarili mo, have someone else set it. Like, have an accountability buddy. Ako, ginagawa ko yung sa friends ko. Like, uy, pag hindi ko pa na siya, pakisabihin naman ako, na kailangan ko nasagutan ito. This week, thank you. <laughs> so, sinachat to nila ako. Like, kunwari, may mahuhuli nila ako, nagbabalo sa gabi. Chat-chat nila ako. Iya, yeah, para hindi mo pag ginagawa ito. <laughs> so, sorry ko. Sige na nga, gagawin ko na. <laughs> So, it's, it works then. Right? Para doon sa mga subjects na isa lang yung deadline. So, yun yung ginagawa ko. So, yun yung, yung ginagawa ko ngayon. Pero I really need to build a nice system other than my friends telling me to start working. <laughs> I would like to add na kunwari pag hindi ka talaga you're not feeling it today, parang ang ginagawa ko is sabi ko, okay, isang pomodoro lang. Like, 25 minutes lang I'm gonna work at this. Tapos, mag-rest na ako. Pero usually, pag nagkaroon ka na ng, ano, parang na-start mo na yung, ano, yung task na yun. Usually, tuloy-tuloy na lang siya. Pero pag hindi, okay, give yourself the rest you need. Kasi, it's your body telling you na, you need to rest talaga. Pero kapag, usually, pag nag-pomodoro ka na, dire-diretso na yun, pag ano na. Kasi, sa, may nag-sabi rin sa akin na, kasi lagi ko natanong, paano ba kung ano motivation? Like, ganun. Ang narinig ko na pinaka nag-ano sa akin is, uh, yung motivation, hindi mo siya nakukuha before you do work. It's, ano, it's something you get when you're working na. So, you have to start, you have to know kung ano yung productivity catalyst mo. So, for me, ang nag-work sa akin is yung pumodoro. So, it might be different for everyone, pero dapat you find that catalyst na mag- dere-diretsa na lang kayo once you get it. Ayun, add ko din. Kasi yun din yung ginagawa ko during my four hours. Um, I do yung Pomodoro. And um, nung una, I didn't think it was going to work. Like, sabi ko, sige, try ko nga lang to. Ganun. Kasi, I don't know, why not, right? So, pero nung trinay ko na siya, um, yung, fa- I thought yung five minutes would not be enough. Pero it depende talaga siya sa ginagawa mo. Um, kasi with me, what I do most of the time at least, pag ma, yung five-minute rest ko is like, I lie down lang, tapos I lie down and then close my eyes tapos, and nakaplay yung um, pag, nagpiplay, pag nag-aaral kasi ako, I play, may naka-background na classical music, ganun. So yun lang yung ginagawa ko. <laughs> <laughs> Kung naman lumabas dun sa... Um, sa recommendations ko at piniplay ko yun. I don't really care kung ano man yun. Pero ayun, um, I just lie down on my chair tapos pinapakinggan ko lang. Tapos pag tumunog na yung five minutes, back to studying. Parang, ayun, clean slate ulit. Uh, uh, it's, um, 
clean slate, I mean like yung motivation, not yung knowledge. <laughs> Pero ayun, parang may motivation ulit ako para mag-aral and all of that. And it's very helpful talaga. Um, ayun, I guess that's one tip rin. Try nyo rin yung Pomodoro or try, try a different technique na may study technique na talagang effective kasi I know for some hindi siya effective yung Pomodoro talaga pero ayun for me it's very effective tapos ayun I guess that's one of it mm-hmm. last question why should I study ECE COE EE okay so clear ko yung sa COE I don't know kung ano lang yan pero meron ako naririnig na nagkaroon ng misconception na naririnig ko na kapag computer engineering it's mostly on the software side pero it's not like yung computer engineering we uh, parang we study both yung software and hardware side ng computer so how how it works sa loob kung paano nag-work kaya nga inaral kung ano yung mga circuits nyo na kasi para maalaman din natin kung paano nag-work yung hardware and yung software so inaral namin yung mga data algorithms yung Turing machines uh, information theory uh, CPU, GPU ganun so ang tawag dito parang if aalahin ako it's parang computer science na dinagdagan ng ano ng circuits and hardware na mas pas ano siya parang compact yung matututunan mo and yung pinaka gusto ko talaga sa course yung parang pagsik ng optimization when it comes to computers and apps and kasi yung mga hardware software kaya so kung gusto niyo matuto na mag-optimize ng computer systems, algorithms, so let's go for <laughs> <Go> E. <laughs> uh, for EC naman, gusto ko muna maglagay ng disclaimer bago ko magsimula. Huwag kang pumunta lang sa ECE kung sa team mo lang magkakapera ka. Kasi I heard it na ang dami, re- dami nagsasagot na parang, oh, yayaman ka sa ECE, yung any of the triple D course, sa video, yayaman ka. So, if yun yung reason, no, Pili ko hindi ka mabubuhay sa loo <laughs> ng triple E if yun na yung reason mo. Uh, for ECE, if you like your electronics, if you like ng hardware, if you like testing for it, if you like building, ganyan. I think you should really try ECE. Baka magsunan mo, di ba? And ECE also has a lot of paths. So, meron yung wireless sa communications. Meron din yung sa robotics, I think. Kasama rin siya sa ECE. So if you if any of those interest you, I think really easy. Also signals, but oh my god, na lalago talaga siya. Do kasi hindi ko na shout out yung signals. Oh my god, mo mahilig ko sa signals. Actually, music, right? Di ba sound? Sound is also part ng ano. If you like that, easy. Oh, tignan mo daming potential, guys. <laughs> easy. So yeah, as if you like signals, you transform the signals. How you change the Also, filters then. I think ECE would be good for you. For EE naman, um, I guess you can say na parang uh, the difference between ECE and EE kasi, kasi a lot of people, like most of the non-engineering people would mix these two up. Pero yung parang pinagkaiba nila would be um, the amount of, well, the easiest way to Um, differentiate them is the amount of voltage that they use. Pag sinabi ka sing, yeah, uh, for ECE, it would be like mga microvolt, ganon, mga small voltage lang. Pag EE ka sa dyan mo may kita mga kilovolts and megavolts. And if you, um, wala naman yun, um, kumbaga parang in the industry or something like that, uh, magi gustuhin mong, ah, uh, sorry. The reason you, why you'd want to go for EE, well, for me at least, because I want to do power engineering. I want to do something about um, um, ayun, electricity and all of that. It's hard for EE. Well, for triple E in general. But if yung, um, I guess, one of your passions, um, power engineering, yeah, go for it. Mm-hmm.
That is it for this chat. If you like this episode or would like to suggest a future topic, let me know by sending me a quick message. I'm always looking for interesting conversations and hope to share more similar stories in the future. My Twitter handle is at rocksalt, that's R-O-X-S-A-L-T. You may also send me an email at rocksalt.acc at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one.